finally back. Ugh, seriously. That officer lady said the renewal process is going to be fast. Now it's dark already. And I'm so hungry. Hmm? Aren't we back late because of all that shopping at Lumina Square? You can't blame the public security officer for that. Why do you always have to side with somebody else, bro? Even if I was shopping for a while, you could still try to take another angle. It's not like I delayed business for us at the video store or something. Either way, it's because you went shopping. All right, all right. I don't want to fight. You're hungry too, yeah? Let's get back to the store, check things over, and get some food. And I'm picking the place today since all the shopping affected business at the video store. Huh? How come? You're definitely just going to pick noodles again. Let's make a bet. If no customers come by, then I get to choose. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint you, little missy, but it looks like you'll be eating noodles tonight. Huh? H who are you? Excuse me. Are you two the owners of this video store? I'd like to rent a movie. I see. You want to rent a thriller that's about mountains. Hmm. If we use that as a keyword, then... It's all my fault. I wasn't paying attention and forgot what the exact title was. Who knew it'd be so hard to remember? It's a tough search for one thing. But secondly, well, we've already shut down for the day. Rebooting our computers and getting all your customer info would be a bit of a hassle now. I see. Seems that's a problem for you. Well, I guess I'd better try my luck at another more professional video store then. Well, good for you then, Missy. Since I'm not technically a customer, I guess you won't have to eat noodles tonight. Oh, uh, hold on one moment there, dear customer. On second thought, you came all this way just to see us, so we should honor your effort and find this movie for you. Ah, are you sure? Then what about rebooting all the computers and that other stuff? We can just start a tab under your name for now. It should be fine. Huh? You sure are quick when it comes to business, bro. What? I just want to prove that Random Play is the most professional video store there is in town. Excuse me, but about your friend who wants to see the movie, what are they like? Are they brave? He acts brave on the outside, but doesn't really dare to do anything ever. And he's great at making excuses. Sounds like an entry-level thriller fan. Oh, isn't that about the same as you, Wise? Which of the new thrillers have you dared to watch? It might be better not to use me as the benchmark bell. As the owner-operator of a video store, I watch each and every movie with the same professional attitude. Nice! Then after dinner, let's do a little thriller movie marathon! So far, I've only dared to watch Silent Valley, The Big Hollow, and The Port Peak. Ah, I've heard of Silent Valley before. But I don't think that's the one my friend wanted. Really? The Big Hollow doesn't really have much to do with mountains, and it's not even a thriller. So it has to be the Port Peak, then. A brutal chainsaw-wielding monster haunts a bunch of backpackers in these wintry mountains. There's plenty of thrilling action with splattering blood and gore. Practically every scene has prop arms and organs bleeding all over the place. I think I'm going to have vegetarian noodles tonight. <laughs> Judging by your description, I'd say that it's definitely the Port Peak, then. Thank you so much. You really helped me out here. I won't forget it. Uh, wait a second, miss. You can keep the change. Use what's left over to treat your sister to her favorite dessert. It's on me. Bye now. Wow, that rat firing girl sure has that riz. I love her. I was going to say that she forgot to put her name down in the account book.
Another letter from Public Security. The renewal of our business license went well by the looks of things. But why are they making us take a trip over there in person? There's no time to waste. Let's deal with the formalities. Speaking of which, how's that rat firing girl who rented the Port Peak last time? The shop's in your capable hands then, 18. Make sure you keep an eye out for that spunky firing girl. If she returns a tape, please remember to get her name. And of course, try to get her signed up as a member too. <laughs> Somebody must be thinking about me. I wonder who. Dang, you're finally back! I've missed you, you know. Oh, it's you. That's rather disappointing. And this is what you missed, right? Oh, alright! The Port Peak in HD! And it's the special videotape released with 20 seconds of extra footage! I'm gonna put this on right now. Go right ahead. There's lots of thrilling action scenes, and loads of blood and gore with chopped limbs flying around. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Uh, <laughs> Why so quiet all of a sudden? You scared? Yeah, right. It's just, uh, I feel like when we're at work, uh, we should be a little more serious. I'll stand guard a little longer, and then when the others come back, I'll... Hmm? Hey! Hold on! Why did you bring the hostages out again? Ah, uh, Jane! You're back! <laughs> uh, you sure have been working hard. Uh, I'm going to take the hostages to the restroom. Again? How many times have you taken them already? You can only blame yourselves! What do you expect after giving me so much water? Can't you just go in your cell? Go in my cell? Have you no shame? Everybody can see! Well, I go like that all the time. Uh, but if I keep doing that, our jail won't be very habitable anymore. Uh, did you have to go there? <laughs> Fine. Take them out. We can't have our little officer losing his dignity now. Do you need to call a few more guards to go with you? There could be ethereals lurking around this area. No, 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 no sweat, Jane. <laughs> the bathroom isn't far, and besides, uh, I know all the fissures and shortcuts around this part of the hollow. We'll be right back. to the bathroom they sure are taking their time hey what have you been feeding the hostages uh, uh well same as us some heart attack and some water all right according to your instructions we were sure to pump that one from pub sec full of water and he ate the gross salty fish flavored heart attack too and the medication you mean the muscle relaxants? We have lowered the dosage before stopping it completely, just like you ordered. Really? Then they shouldn't be so slow. Maybe they ran out of paper. My good, we have a problem. Gone! It's all gone! <sighs> I knew it. Here you go, take this. My mom always taught me to keep a spare roll on me. Huh? What is this? Toilet paper?! Yeah, the bathroom's out of toilet paper. Right? Oh, no! The hostages! The hostages all gone! <gasps> the hostages! The guard! That officer! Everyone's gone! 
the guard in the bathroom got knocked out, and that rookie escorting them betrayed us. He escaped with the hostages! What? The patrol has gone to update the boss. There's nothing he hates more than traitors. You can bet he's gonna come over here personally. We have got to go catch them, otherwise we're all in for it! That kid, he really convinced someone to betray us. Listen up. Leave the chase to me. You'll only slow things down. Everybody just wait for the boss at the transfer station. Okay. <laughs> Didn't see this coming. Is. As long as you're reasonable with them and motivate them, they'll always be able to move. In what universe does that make any sense? Oh God. Oh. That's a, I can't keep running it. Oh. No, just keep up. Didn't you just say we're almost at the exit? No, we're already here. This is the exit. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Let's go, people. You two head out first. Are... are you sure? But you're weak, officer. Wouldn't it be better if you got out first? Don't worry about me. Time is of the essence, and you all need to get out of here. Quick! <laughs> Thank you, Officer Seth. If it weren't for you, we definitely would have been... All in a day's work for a public security officer. Come on! Okay, you're next. <sighs> Uh, what's wrong? Seth, can I... Can I really cross over to the other side? Can I... Really start all over again? Could someone like me... Really get another chance? That's not for me to decide. But if you stay here, you'll never find out. Thank you, Seth. I... Wait! Damn! They caught up! You... You... You stay away from me! I'm turning my back on this life of crime, Jane! You should do the same! Shut up and listen. There are other paths you can take. Oh, what other paths? That voice is... It's Razor the Mountain Lion! We're surrounded! Just stay behind me! The rules of the streets, the rules of the gang, my rules. None tolerate a traitor. So, Jane, 
What other paths do they have? <laughs> Only surrender, of course. Surrender and submission. Hmm. According to the rules, traitors should suffer a fate worse than death. But seeing as Jane says so, I'm willing to give a second chance. You! Kill the pop sex scum and I'll let you off lightly. <laughs> I'll give you three seconds to think it over. Three. Two. One. I refuse! Behave yourself, you rotten traitor! Oh, he refused your proposal, Jane. You know what to do next. Let me go! Don't you dare harm him! <sighs> give, give me another chance! You can still turn this around! <laughs> Anything else to say? I, 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 I want to start over. <laughs> I know. You will. Don't worry, you're up next. Jane, what are you doing? You're breaking the rules now, too? No way, boss. Just, didn't you say, when the time's right, I can become a bodyguard? Yeah, so what? We mountain lions are fierce and unbeatable. Not even those pubsec idiots can stop us. It'd be a waste to get rid of him like this, don't you think? What's your point? With him here, I think the time has come. Let me fight in front of the gang to prove myself and earn a shot at promotion. I propose a duel in the lion's den. Hold it, Jane! Don't think you're all that! Only the boss calls the shots! Gentlemen, are you still in the dark? About the rumors on the streets? They say that, in front of PubSec, mountain lions are just little scaredy cats. Our brothers caught, business stolen, operations ruined, territory shrinking. And what did we do in response? We ran. We hid. Scattered like mice. are creatures that hold honor above all, and this pub officer is the perfect opportunity to prove ours. Let this duel make it clear to all other gangs. We are real lions. <laughs> and not some scaredy cats. B boss I think Jane actually has a point. Don't worry, boss. How long have we been pushed around? Lions! We're mountain lions! Don't show them, Jane! We support you! Appreciated, boss. I won't let you down.
I finally managed to get things going. Keeping Seth alive while also using him as the bait I need to get into the lion's den. The escape supplies are all ready. My route and universal keycard are all sorted. I just need a way to rescue Seth before our duel. Plus, there's that guard kid. I dropped him off in a place where there were warnings of fissures potentially opening. He said he's been at this transfer station a while and knows all the fissures and shortcuts around this area. Guess I can only hope that he was telling the truth. Please, please be safe. Oh, so our strong newcomer who's going all out to become a bodyguard is someone who says her prayers, huh? <laughs> Just a little pregame prayer, nothing more. But as for you, don't tell me a majestic mountain lion bodyguard would stoop to eavesdropping. Seems like this will be easier then, given you know I'm a bodyguard. I'm here on the boss's orders to take you to the lion's den. So, everything is already set up for the fight? No need to shower, get changed, go over the rules, paint up some lion shirts, or anything like that? Nah. <laughs> Come on, I was just kidding, Mr. Bodyguard. You don't have to be so nervous. I'll guide you through the fissure into the lion's den. We leave now. Gotcha. Just let me pack my things, and then... We leave. Now. <laughs> Why the rush? The lion's den isn't going anywhere. At least let me fix my makeup, okay? Jane, are you going to ignore the rules of the mountain lions? <sighs> fine, fine. Let's go now then. You lead the way, Mr. Bodyguard. Ugh, it's starting so quickly that I didn't have time to grab my escape supplies. I had a feeling something like this might happen. Looks like I'll have to come up with an escape plan on the fly. Is this... Hollow Zero? So the lion's den is hidden inside Hollow Zero. Huh. Sometimes the most dangerous place is also the safest. Those pub sick cowards never go anywhere dangerous. But we mountain lions aren't afraid. So that's it. The mountain lions know the location of a stable fissure leading to Hollow Zero from a companion hollow. Every time they need to escape, they flee to this area in Hollow Zero. That's why public security could never find or catch them. <laughs> no wonder that transfer station is churning out supplies for anti-corruption serum. They must be used for holing up inside Hollow Zero. Once they're out of danger, they can slip out of the fissure and escape. <laughs> Impressive. That's our risky strategy, that only a group as bold and talented as yourselves could pull off. Don't be envious. You'll be joining our group of bold and talented people soon enough. But you have to prove yourself! Hey. What gives? The duel will be just up those stairs there. You can go up once you meet all the requirements. Uh, hang on. Nobody said anything about a qualification round before the duel. Becoming a bodyguard is the boss's way of acknowledging you, but we mountain lions need to see you prove yourself first. If you want a shot at the duel, then you'll have to make it there on your own. This is also one of our rules. You call that a rule? It's just a way to wear me down before the fight. <laughs> rules are rules. Plus, weren't you praying just now? This little trial should be a cinch for you. Come on, newbie. We're looking forward to seeing how you do. <sighs> Seriously, another task to collect access cards. Hmm, we need three cards. They really couldn't come up with anything better to test me. Let's start investigating. The target's over there. Don't be sorry. It'll be over soon enough. Great. That's the first access card. Oh, 
Great surprise. Are you here to congratulate me on passing the trial? I see you even brought that little pub sec prince with you. Jane, they... Ugh! Shut up, you pub sec maggot! <laughs> Careful with the goods. He's going to be my trophy in a moment. I want to defeat a real, living public security officer. To have the gang cheering my name, and to feel the joy of stomping him into the ground. Don't spoil my fun. Jane Doe, the new cub of the Mountain Lions. You have completed the path of promotion and earned the recognition of the gang. You hereby qualify as my loyal and trusted bodyguard. It's an honor, boss. But there's one final step to take before you earn your official place in the duel. Whatever you say, boss. But before that... Huh? <laughs> Trying to ambush me, huh? Afraid I'm coming for your position. Guess you couldn't help being anxious. And you even dared to pull a cheap trick like that in front of the boss. <laughs> I was just gonna break one of your hands, that's all! <laughs> you really think I'm gonna forgive you just because you spilled the beans so easily? Kindergarten ended 20 years ago, buddy. Go explain yourself to the boss. <laughs> I don't have to explain anything, because... Break one of her hands. That was my order. Boss! Razor! You... why? Jane, I want you to lose to this pub sec punk in the duel. Then I can go up there and kill him myself. 
As long as you fight well enough, I'll arrange for someone to escort you to a hospital in New Eridu immediately after the duel. This is one of my rules for your promotion. You're asking me to go up there and lose on purpose and pretend it's real? What kind of stupid rule is that? You're a cut above the rest, Jane, but you're always missing the point. The rules of the fight, the rules of promotion, my rules. The point isn't the rules, it's that they're mine. <laughs> Me, Razor, I'm the only authority, I'm the only explanation, and I'm the only leader. I am the Mountain Lion. And only I represent the Mountain Lions. I need bodyguards who can protect me and my reputation, not some stinking ambitious rat. You've already defied me twice now in front of everyone, strutting your stuff around in my gang. I've been lenient enough to not just get rid of you, so you'd better listen to my orders now. Understand? <laughs> so, this whole circus is just because you're afraid of losing face and status? I thought you might have figured out my secret. <laughs> but it turns out a stopped clock is right twice a day. Secret? What do you mean? <laughs> the same narrow-minded thinking and boring ambitions. All you're doing is fighting for power like stray cats on the street. How ridiculous. Oh, you think you're all that with your arrogant attitude? That's what I hate about you. But it doesn't matter. I've got loads of time. So, let me teach you a little something about my rules. You brat! What are you doing? I can't stand dishonesty! I've heard enough and I've taken enough! You demand loyalty, but will sacrifice your companions on a whim for your own greed! Jane, do you get it now? The filthy nature of these gangsters! If you would have just agreed to my terms, we could have avoided all this nonsense! I agree but you're to just your so terms. obsessed with! Uh, hang on. What did you say? I agree to your terms. Turning over a new leaf, changing for the better. Okay, I agree. Uh, huh? I mean it. Just try pulling on the cuffs with both hands. It's no use! The muscle relaxants have. Huh? They broke! My strength is back! But how? You sweat more being agitated, and you drink a lot of water, right? I don't want to talk about the bathroom, Jane! Urination plus sweating speeds metabolism enough to almost completely process the medicine. So that's why you made me drink the- Jane, now you betray me! Well, you heard him. I'm tired of the drama. I'm done, and I can let myself out. I've already got the key. The card? You swiped it when you were getting beaten up? <laughs> Fine. Even better. I'll just kill the traitor then. I'll boost my rep all the same. I'll show you how my body Yeah. <laughs> 
Don't get sloppy. It's not over! Execution! Continue! Taste of the abyss. Not only strength. You may remain silent. You'll pay for this. Hungry for revenge? You're underestimating Razor's influence. Go around! Go around! There's only one exit, Fisher! We'll cut them off! We finally made it. Jane, I never thought you'd dare to take out Razor! I knew there was something off about you right from the... <sighs> yeah, yeah, all right already. We're about to fight, so save your breath. What? You think you're the big boss man now that Razor isn't around anymore? <laughs> Still acting smug even though it's the end now, huh? You'll regret hurting the boss! All you talk about is the boss and follow him around like a little lapdog. What did you like about him anyway? How loud he got when he was cussing you out? He went to that. You... shut your mouth! Am I wrong? I never saw Razor show you any kindness, yet you still liked him. Don't tell me you see him as a father figure. Uh, Jane, I think that's enough. You hear that? Even the pub sec officer thinks you're pathetic. The big bad daddy who cussed you out every day is gone, and yet you still miss him. What are you? A bunch of daddy's boys. Uh, hang on! I did not say that! I said shut up! You... you traitor! I'm gonna make you pay! We cubs of the mountain lions will... Uh, actually, cubs isn't completely accurate. I certainly didn't think of Razor as a father figure. I know! It's just a metaphor, get it? Don't let that sewer rat toy with you anymore! We've got them surrounded! Get them! Oh, oh, what's going on? Was that coming from the fissure? Oh, it's, oh. You have the right to remain silent! Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You finally caught up. <laughs> Captain Zhou Yuan! Jingyi! Everyone! And you! You're that guard kid! You're still alive? How? You're surrounded. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Wait, you yawn at work too, Chingy? Aren't you an automaton? Yes, but that's irrelevant. Exhaustion is a state of mind, not the body. Or, to put it another way, yawning is like the soul burping from eating too much boredom. 
Plus, yawns are contagious. No way! There's no way I'll yawn before the captain gets out of the commendation meeting. Ah, <sighs> oh, dang it. <laughs> you should listen to your elders. Anyway, I'm bored right now, so could you do that thing again, Seth? What? No, I don't want to. Don't be shy. Here, I'll help you start. <clears throat> captain, please listen to me. I'm with a mountain lion bodyguard called Jane. I'm supposed to arrest her, but I persuaded her to turn over a new leaf. I'll bet my reputation that she can change. Captain, please trust me. Come on, Chingy. Enough already. And then Juyuan replies. Seth, let me introduce you. This is Jane Doe, a criminal behavioral expert who's been working with us for a long time now. She's part of the operation as an informant. I'm sorry that the situation was a bit complicated this time. I'll tell you more details later. Captain, is the meeting over? How can you remember everything so perfectly? Oh, how could I forget? Especially with your funny expression at the time, Seth. But don't be upset. It's thanks to you and Jane that we could finally wrap up this whole operation. You can be happy about that. Speaking of which, what about Jane? Why isn't she here for the secret commendation? Apparently, there's a new case that requires her as a consultant, and she's already set out to make preparations. She said she needed to go repay a favor first. Still crooked? Mm, I think a little to the left. No, no, try a little to the right. Well, we've been over this three times already. Just give me an accurate answer so I can hang up this business license. And if you can't tell, then ask Fairy to help you. Come on, bro. How could you say that? I'm totally serious in watching you hang it, aren't I? Fine. So is it still crooked now, or...? Mmm... A little more to the left? Ah, uh, a little to the right. What a hassle. A real hassle, huh? But the smile on your face is lighting up the room. Huh? You're... You're the rat Thyron who rented the poor peak last time! <laughs> Glad you remember me. Am I interrupting something important here? Not at all. I was just getting back at my brother for always making me eat noodles whenever we go out shopping. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it is. You can come down now, Mr. Manager. It's hanging perfectly straight now. You got it. <sighs> Oh, my hands are sore now. Thanks for rescuing me there. Are you here to return the videotape? That's right. I brought back your copy of the Port Peak. Here you go. Got it. Hmm. The tape doesn't seem damaged at all. Great. I'll just get your deposit back for you. One second. So how was it? Is your friend hooked on it now? Huh? <laughs> my friend? Who do you mean? Huh? Last time, didn't you say that you were renting it out for a friend? You said that he pretends to be brave, but is actually a wimp. Just like my bro here! I can hear you, you know. Ah, right. I guess I did say that. Sorry, my memory isn't the best. I even forgot what my friend said about the movie. <laughs> to compensate, let me register for your highest tier membership. And I'll buy your highest value gift card. Plus, I'll be sure to recommend your store to all my friends, okay? Oh, no, no worries at all. I'm always the one who forgets things. But let me get that membership card for you right now. Thanks for your patronage. Your gift card is ready. May I ask your name for the account? You can call me... Jane.
answering citizens' questions is my duty. Ask away. As long as it's nothing confidential. Thank you for supporting public security's work.
start this beautiful day with a win?
Wish I could get out of here early. 